Hey guys, it's Symphony. So today I am doing a bullet journal video for you guys. I am so excited for you guys to see the progress that I've made in it so far. I've mainly just kind of done layout stuff. I haven't really filled it in a whole lot as of like when I filmed this video. Um, I'm currently filming the intro because I totally forgot to do one. And uh, it's a few weeks after I filmed that video. So I've made a lot more progress on it. I cannot wait to show you guys more. So yeah, just trying to make this quick so we can jump right into things. Um, I'll have everything linked down below that I talk about in the video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get into it. Okay, so to start off, I'm showing you guys these pens that I ordered off of Amazon, and they are honestly so nice. They're just all black, like, fine line pens, and look how many sizes they have for these. Like, this is so convenient for bullet journaling. So, for my actual bullet journal, I ordered this off of Amazon as well. I can link everything down below for you guys. So, this is kind of like my introduction page. It just has my name on it, the year, and then I practiced drawing some plants and everything on there. I wrote, welcome to my bullet journal, just because I thought this was a really nice page to open up to. So, now flipping forward, this is my cover page, I guess you could say. I have my favorite quote by Ben Howard on the left side, and then I just wrote 2019 on the right side. I just wanted something really cool that you could open up to. Okay, so this next page is actually the one that took me the longest. So, I just put a calendar for every month of the year on here. I guess a lot of people call this like a future log. I just thought this would be really nice to like refer back to throughout the year and just kind of see where I'm at. So this next page is my year in pixels. And when I filmed this, I hadn't filled any of them out yet, but now that I have, and now that it's updated, it looks so good. So I cannot wait to show you guys. So this is my yearly goals page. I kept them pretty general because I didn't want to get too specific and overwhelm myself, but it's very nice to refer back to throughout the year. I haven't filled out these pages at all yet, but I'm just gonna track all of the concerts that I go to and all the movies that I go and see all year. Okay, that's enough of the yearly trackers. We have finally made it to the month section of my journal. So I have a quote on the left side and on the right side, I just wrote the name of the month and I did this really cool cutout thing. So I drew a picture underneath that would poke out, but on the back of the name of the month, I wrote my weight tracker, my chore tracker, and my self-care tracker. And then on these pages, I have my to-do list, my goals, and my wish list for the month. And then I made kind of like just a big old calendar on the right-hand side, just so that I can write appointments and big things that I need to remember for the month. I put this next clip in slow-mo because I went way too fast, but this is literally just a budget page and a way to track all of my bills and my Depop money that I make for the month. And then these pages are my Instagram and my YouTube trackers and a spot for me to keep post ideas and video ideas, which is super, super helpful for me. And then finally, to finish off the month, I'm doing a monthly summary and I'm recording all of my favorite memories. If you can't tell, I'm really doing this as a tracker rather than a weekly planner, which just works better for me. So I went ahead and did a few months at a time. I did February and my theme for this one is florals and like mountain scenery. So I have my favorite quote on the left side for the month and then February again with a cutout. And this time I decided to add workouts onto my monthly trackers. And I'm really, really happy about how this turned out. It's a little more cluttered than the last one, but I think it looks pretty cool. I also realized that I spelled February wrong. Please ignore that. There was no turning back. So yeah, this is the same exact thing. I'm just kind of flipping through this pretty quickly just because it's the exact same thing from last month. And I obviously haven't filled any of it in yet because it is not February yet. And hey, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please leave a comment down below and let me know. And then I will film an updated version of this video for you guys so that you guys can see where I'm at. So I'm finishing this video off with the month of March for you guys. I have this quote from Anastasia Louise, which is my favorite YouTuber. As you can see, I still have a lot left to go, but in the very back, there is this pocket where I thought I would keep my best Polaroids and love letters for my baby. So yeah, that is pretty much my whole journal right now. I hope you guys liked it. But I also thought I would show you guys my actual weekly planner. I just bought this from Target. It was like less than 10 bucks, but I wanted a place where I could just keep track of like my work schedule and the chores and whatnot that I needed to do for the week. I thought the bullet journal would be easy for monthly things and to just be an overall tracker, where this is more so like an actual planner for just weekly stuff. So I figured if I did this in my bullet journal, it would literally take up the entire thing so fast. So I just bought something separate and it's really, really cute. I love it. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. That is the end of my bullet journal video for today. 
If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below so that I know to make more bullet journal videos in the future. And if you are not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you see every video that I upload. <laughs> that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.